So recently, you may have seen this video going around on TikTok. The B, it's M to the B, it's M, 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 M to the B, it's M to the B, it's M to the B, bang. Now, it's quite harrowing for some British people to hear that Americans are becoming more aware of Mini B and BG Media in general, and I have to say that at the start, I agreed with you. BG Media has remained an integral part of British culture since 2016, so to see the Americans discover it, possibly ruin it, it, it was scary. <laughs> but recently I realised that I was an idiot. I was in capitalising on this. So, I've decided that today is the day I do that. Here's a history of BG Media and Millie B. Blackpool Grime Media, often shortened to BGM or BG Media, is a YouTube channel that gives young grime artists from the northwest of England, primarily Blackpool, a chance to release their music and their videos with visuals by Jack Wilkinson. The channel gained notoriety on one fateful day. On June 5th, 2016, at 7.47pm, Will and E uploaded the first in a series of videos that would go down in British YouTube history. In World's Cringiest Lads Ever Make Grime, we met two very important BG Media stars, Little T and Sophie Aspen. At this time, Little T was just 12 years old and recently released a freestyle called Road Rage, known for its line, Yo yeah, start the bifter, I'm gonna rape your little sister. However, this wasn't the first time Little T had gotten into a tiny bit of controversy. Just a short time earlier, while collaborating with his brother on a diss track about Afghan Dan, Lil T dropped a hard R N bomb. If you believe in Jesus, I'll crucify. Get a pencil, I stick it in your eye. When I see you, it's gonna be like a drive by. Look, wanna class me? I'll no source dagger. Might have to torture this nigga. Needless to say, it wasn't Josh's best moment. Josh continued to release freestyles and sends, but the one that I want to focus on here is the one called Who You Are. A send for Sophie Aspen. Supposedly, this send was spurred on simply by Sophie sending him a Facebook message saying that she was going to send for him. So within two days, he'd sent for her instead. I was talking to her on Facebook and then like she was saying that she was gonna send for me. So I just sent for her. Straight away? Yeah, straight away. That's what I rate like, you. You're not on days, this wasting like time thing. Like, you're on Man Man's on you, cuz. Now, eventually, this led to the diss track war of the century. You thought the Sidemen stuff with Deji was cool? No. PewDiePie vs T-Series? Baby shit. The Paul Brothers. Invisible. Didn't matter. This was the greatest battle of all time. The Battle of Blackpool. Sophie Aspin was born in Manchester in the early 2000s, but as a teenager she moved to Manchester. After receiving some bullying for posting videos of her singing on Facebook, she decided she'd go into grime as a way to show these people off, to or show off to these people, to fit in better. This made her the first girl to star on BG Media, which got the boys very horny. <laughs> Shortly after joining BG Media, she rose to fame thanks to her beef with Josh Tate, otherwise known as Little T and releasing her next song, her response, thinking he's hard. Now, by all accounts, this song did not help quash the beef between the two whatsoever, and by a sheer force of will, it increased the tension. Insane, I know, how could a diss track increase the tension? Let me just scroll down my script. <clears throat> There were some inappropriate comments, like one or two sprinkled throughout, but one of them, one of my favourites, <clears throat> Josh, oh you're gay, I heard you like a suck. As I said, Josh was 12. This is a bit weird, just a bit, but at the same time, they're not really being serious. It's jokes, things to annoy you, but like everyone knows they're not true. No one thinks that Josh Tate really likes a good suck. 
or just a suck. I forgot the line. However, this meant that there was personal drama now involved. Shit was getting real. And Josh soon responded with his song, Deeper, uh, in which he hit harder with more inappropriate statements, really. Uh, that will become a trend. He says such excellent things as, Cause your mum's on my D, deep throating me, and your dad's called Ted, hiding them kids in the shed. As I said before, obviously, Sophie Aspin's dad is not a pedophile named Ted who keeps kids in the shed, or at least I hope he's not. They're just jokes. But they're, they're being personal, you know? Now, Sophie Aspin didn't respond to this. She didn't. Instead, she waited until his next song came out. After allying with uh, Dylan Brewer, Josh released another song. What was this called? I don't know. This one, though, was a diss track on Kaliman Sam and Sophie Aspen. Kaliman Sam, of course, being the Dylan Brewer to uh, Sophie's Little T. Uh, Josh, Josh let off the gas. He was less rude, mostly. But Dylan... <laughs> Dylan said a couple of things. <coughs> He accused Sophie of getting gangbanged in a white van by a group of fucked up tramps. Um, which was easily the weirdest thing that had been said so far. Somehow it wasn't the worst though, as Josh Tate later in that very song says to Sophie, Your mum cannot hear, before immediately telling her to jump off the pier. Ah. Josh Tate had just mocked the real disability of Sophie Aspin's mum. Uh-oh. The final true battle of the war was initiated by Sophie Aspin in her reply to this diss track. You know who. In this video, she mocks Josh Tate's mother for having a raw vagina and that it looks like mould. Uh, as well as having a lot of sex with random men. In this video, she also tells Josh, uh, I think he was 13 at this point, to suck dick three times. Bit weird. Um, Josh did fight back, but at this point the beef was dead in the water. No one cared anymore, it had faded into irrelevancy. Until. On November 30th, 2016, Noisy released a 30-minute documentary titled Blackpool, The Controversial Rise of Blackpool Grime. In this video, grime artist Poet went to Blackpool to talk with three prominent artists, Afghan Dan, Sophie Aspin, and Little T. This was big. BG Media was back into the, in the news. It was relevant again. People cared. And, at the end of the video, at the end of the documentary, Josh and Dan have a conversation. They talk about the N-word uh, and some other things. But more importantly for us, Josh and Sophie have a conversation. It's awkward. They can barely make eye contact. But they realise that really they're the same. They're two idiots that said bad things about the other's mum. And that got both of them really annoyed. That got them to go harder, to be meaner, to be cruel. They'd gone too far. And while by the end they weren't friends, they agreed to do a song together with Afghan Dan, which was crazy. The three biggest people in the Blackpool grime media scene had <laughs> just come together for the first time. It was magical. When Poet ate his fish and chips while the two sat there awkwardly, a treaty was signed. The Treaty of Versailles. 
Blackpool edition. That was the end of that. The next month. The next month. A new artist came onto the scene. Millie B. That Millie B. The Millie B behind the M to the B. Millie B. That song was released just a couple days after the documentary came out in order to capitalise on the success of it. Initiating the Battle of KFC. As the video began with Skank by Boredom Beats, yes really, Skank by Boredom Beats faded in and Colonel Sanders' face appeared in dazzling red and white light. We knew we were in for something. Millie B mocks Sophie Aspen with some strange lines, which are as follows. Ahem. How can you shag bear lads? Is your fanny not stinging? I bet your fanny's minging. And I bet your blowies are fucking shite. And you're a slag, riddled with STDs. Fuck that shit, couldn't be asked being you. You're an animal, you belong in a zoo. And finally, you bounce on next man's dick, like a kangaroo. There are some other lines. I can't be bothered to read them because I haven't written them in this Word document. Sophie's first response in the Battle of KFC was titled, Are You Mad? And by all accounts, it was a pretty shit response, as was Millie B's next response, back again. However, Sophie's next response ended the battle immediately after coming out because it had a guest star, Josh Tate. That's right, Josh Tate, in a mere couple weeks, had gone from hating Sophie Aspen to defending her against some new girl that had just come onto the scene and started attacking her. This was huge. I mean, the Blackpool documentary was already massive, but it exploded. Everyone went insane for it. It was mental. I don't know how else to describe it. But then it ended. That was it. Nothing else happened. BG Media deleted all of the videos from their channel. You can only find them on re-uploads now. It was almost as if nothing had happened at all. And so it was scrubbed from the official records, marking the end. Until halfway through 2017, a video by BG Media dropped. Sophie Aspin and Millie B. About that little tea send. That's right. The Treaty of Versailles Blackpool edition had seemingly been thrown out the window. The two hated each other again. Millie B had teamed up with Sophie Aspen. They were rivals. As the two biggest female artists in the area. Nobody ever thought they'd interact with each other, considering it seemed they hated each other's guts. And let alone to go against Little T, who seemingly become Decent friends with Sophie. It was crazy. Of course, it didn't really lead anywhere. Nothing big happened after that, but it was still rather cool. So, where are our heroes now? Well, Josh Tate has been trying to change his image for around a year now. There's a Channel 4 mini documentary about it. Um... It's about 10 minutes long. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. Great watch. As well as that, Josh appeared in a Will and E video not five months ago, um, talking about everything uh, in a very surreal interview. This is the first time they'd ever been together uh, in a big video like this. Sophie Aspen, meanwhile, has been chasing her dream of being both a singer and a crime artist in Blackpool. Uh, and while I looked up Millie B, all I could find were TikToks, and I wasn't about to sift through them to find out what happened to her, so I assume she's dead. If she is dead, I'm very sorry. 
that's probably a poor taste joke if she is. I really hope she's not dead now. But that was it. That's the history of BG Media, or at least what's relevant in the past for that whole Millie B thing. Because Millie B brings up um, Little T. Uh, I know a lot of Americans have been listening to it recently. I saw I saw a TikTok by an American trying to explain like, that it was a diss track on Sophie Aspin uh, and all that stuff. But you need a decent amount of time to explain the history of it. I haven't even gotten into a lot of it. Afghan Dan, I skimmed over. He had a whole thing with Callum's Corner. If you don't know who Callum's Corner is, you might recognise him from uh, this How To Basic video. I'm How To Basic! Will and E was in that Callum's Corner diss track. Callum's Corner is now like decent friends with Will and E. It's a whole mess of stuff. Callum's Corner did commentary videos for a while on his second channel, which used to be called TikToks, where he talked about the Sophie Aspen, Millie B stuff as it was happening. It was crazy. But all good things come to an end. And I suppose this video does as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face, like a boss, and high fives all round. Whoopsh, whoopsh. But thank you guys, and I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Dun, 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 dun. Coming. Hello, policeman Jeremy Clarkson. How are you doing? Is it something about my manager? Hello, Aaron Wells. I'm afraid that. I've got to ask you to come with me. But why? I haven't done anything. Till it to the judge.